G'day there, podcaster. Liam here. Uh, just myself and Belle in this pod. Ben was off. Uh, we catch up with Kiwi comedian Guy Williams, who sticks up for New Zealand after they lost under big comp against the Aussies. Um, Belle had a hard time buying some Spanx. It's pretty awkward. Uh, plus, I learnt about hate following on socials. Live across Australia, this is Ben, Liam and Belle's Late Drive on Nova. Good evening, Australia. Oh, God, that feels cool <laughs> saying that. Normally Ben says that, but he's off sick. So it's just Liam and Bell. Yep. So Late you're... drive with Liam and Bell. You're technically the captain tonight, Liam. You don't see me as the captain usually? Absolutely not. Ben is no. 110% the yeah, captain. Yeah, no, Ben is the captain. Um, it would be weird to have a captain who doesn't know how to use any of the steering controls. Um, That's true. Been in radio for over a decade. Never bothered to learn how to play the songs and that sort of thing. But I've you know, I've gotten this far. I'm enjoying this show, so why not? Well, it's going to be a hell of a show anyway. Obviously, it's Friday. We want to get your Friday and weekend plans uh, later on, so give us a buzz, 13 24 10. We've got amazing Friday songs lined up for you. We've got a big DJ mix coming up yeah, as well. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, it's going to be fun hanging out here uh, for your Friday night. Liam, the most mortifying thing happened to me. Ever. You know, there's moments in life where something happens and it just stays with you. Usually it happens in childhood and then you wake up at night thinking about it. This was one of those. And you think about like all the other ways that you could have gone about it to avoid it or maybe just made it like less awkward. You know what the worst thing is? This one, out of my hands. Oh, jeez. Nothing so you can do about it. I have a, an event coming up this weekend and I've bought a beautiful dress for it. It's, it's quite skin tight. And as you do, you've got to buy Spanx. Um, so, you know, the little suck you in underwear, shapewear, kind of just sucks in the tummy, sucks in everything. Gut grabbers. Yep, sure. That's what my mum calls them. <laughs> really? Yeah, we're at a family wedding on gut the weekend. Gut grabbers, I they love were, that. They were all talking about the gut grabbers. <laughs> oh, jeez, can't breathe with me gut grabbers on. Well, so I, I had to buy a new pair because all of mine, and this probably means nothing to you, all of mine are the ones with shorts. So it's like it's like the top is really like sucks you in and then they, they're like kind of like bike shorts. But okay. what happens is if you have a tight dress, you can sometimes see the line of that. So now they've made ones that's like a G-string with the Spanx at the top. So right. it's just like everything's just up there and then you can see all the curves and everything, but you've got the suctioning in. Sounds painful. It's so painful on so many levels, but fashion is sacrifice. And so I went to, I just went to like Kmart and um, yeah, I was like, Went there, found a beautiful pair. It was like skin colour, awesome. I thought, oh, I'll get like three pairs because they were on special, whatever. And I got to the checkout and I'm putting everything else through and there's like this beautiful, like, weirdly, like, they didn't have the self-serve ones going. They just had the old school, like, three. Yeah, right, back three, in the day. Yeah. yeah. And there was like this, like, I'm going to say 16-year-old boy and I'm standing there, I'm like, oh, my God. The you're ro- choice you're rocking his world. Yeah. him or two older women. Mm. They were the people working. And I was like, well, I want the older women. For sure. And you were just in a line, so it was like a chance yep. thing? And then he goes, next. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and I went up to him. And I was like, hey. And he's like, hey, hello. I can't do the voice. It's like, you know, the Simpsons. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that guy, like, that guy. Yeah. And he's like, and he scanned like other three other things that I bought. And then he got to those and he literally just stopped. And he's like, um. Oh, this one doesn't have a tag on it. And I think I have to go. I might have to ask my manager about this one. I think we got like a two for one deal, but I don't know. And I was like, that's fine, man. Just like do just, what you need to just do. Just scan it, boy. Put yeah, it in the bag. I was like, yeah. And then he did that thing where like, you know, it's like if you ha- hold up like a dirty pair of undies and you hold them by the corner. Yeah. He literally had them like arm's length out and he was like holding them in front of everyone. And he was like, oh, Steve, Steve. And like carried them out in front of him. And he was like, Steve. I think these are two for one. And I was like, dude, you don't need to carry them out. And then everyone was looking and I was like, okay. And they just had this tiny slither of material hanging down. And he came back. He's like, okay, I'm just going to punch the code in instead. And then did it that way. And I swear, I've never seen someone so bright red in their I'm life. I'm glad you didn't have to buy any sanitary products. That oh, might that would have, have that sent him. might have passed out in front of you. <laughs> um, big gig in Townsville tonight. Pink's playing. Oh, I think I'm 
She does like everywhere, doesn't she? She's been here for like months and she just plays everywhere. It's amazing. And, you know, we, we talked about at length about Taylor Swift doing her ears mm. tour and how much energy that took. But imagine being pink doing this many shows that she does all around the country on a trapeze. And, Belle, remember last week um, there was that news story that all the accommodation in Townsville was booked out? Yes. Um, so Jenny Hill, the mayor, said people should stay with the residents instead. And, and Ben gave me the challenge to call a random Townsville resident and ask if I could crash after the gig. And uh, we, we spoke um, at length to this lovely local. No, well, we, we wouldn't be able to accommodate anyone oh, here. That's fine. Mm. Worth, worth an ask. No, hadn't even got a stable out the back. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. Why can't I stay at your house in Townsville next weekend? No. She made herself um, quite clear that I couldn't stay. Yes. The call was a lot longer than that. Um, but because the gigs tonight, uh, earlier today, I thought it would be funny um, to call the number again. You didn't and pretend that I'd got the wrong end of the stick and that I'd landed at Townsville no, Airport. You didn't. And that I was... No, you didn't. I thought I'd maybe like ask for directions to this old no, woman's you didn't. house. <laughs> um, That's the poor woman. No, yeah, no, I, 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 I did. And now you can enjoy. Hello? Hey, how you doing? It's Liam. Who? Liam, remember I, I called you last week about the Pink concert? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know your name. Oh, you know. that's right. I'd probably never said. Uh, well, no. anyway, I've um, I've just landed. Um, so yeah, obviously the big gig tonight. Uh, for for Pink, I was just just wondering if the you know, I could get some directions to your place. Why? Because you said I could crash in your rumpus room. I didn't give you the couch. What? Because I thought you said I could stay. No, I didn't. Oh. Oh dear! Oh man, this is a massive misunderstanding. I thought. So, oh, so you said I I can't crash. Definitely not. Oh, I feel like an idiot. I thought you said you can. Oh, there's crash. a few bridges you can camp under around the town. Oh, but I I mean I I I even made us matching t-shirts that said we're gonna get the party started. Too bloody old to start any party, sorry. Oh, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's so embarrassing. I feel like such an idiot. Uh, well, I hope you brought a poncho because I think it's going to rain. Oh, no. Mm. Are you sure there's no spare room or any any sort of spot? I no, could just... very sorry. Because of the mayor, she said this for the residents. Well, ring the mayor. I'm sure she's got a spare room. I think she's out of a job. She might need some money. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. I wrote you this song. Um, I don't know if this this um, might change your mind. <clears throat> it's titled uh, "Dear Miss Townsville Resident." Dear Miss Townsville Resident, come take a walk with me. We're two people land. I don't have oh, a stop. place That's to awful. stay. Really? Woo woo. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, you better not waste your time talking to me. You better find accommodation. It's getting late. I suppose I'm out on my ass then, eh? Definitely, mate. <sighs> what a crying shame. Well, anyway, thanks again for your time. <laughs> oh, that's, that's all right. I'm, I'm good at dealing with annoying people on the phone these days. <laughs> oh. oh, what do you mean? Other people calling because there's no accommodation in Townsville for the pink gig? No, we get people wanting to do our carpets or put solars on the roof or give us um, cladding or, yeah, uh, yeah you geez. name it. Everybody wants to sell you something. Yeah, mm. am I right? Bunch of pains <laughs> in the asses, if you ask me. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Oh, well, great, great. Enjoy your pink concert. Will do. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to see you at the uh, Queensland Country Bank Stadium tonight for the gig? Definitely not. Okay. No. No, yeah. no worries. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, great catching up again, friend. <laughs> okay. Bye, Liam. Bye. It's Dan. Hallelujah, it's 6.10. Hannah and Adelaide, how you doing? Good, good. How are you guys? Not too good. bad. Hey, look, your voice is on air, so you're already in the draw for Nova's first class 50K. Um, did you just want to 
just sort of pack your bags and head, or did you want to stick around for this 16 quiz? I'll stick around. Yeah, why not? Uh, oh, God bless you. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. Australia have overtaken New Zealand in the global happiness rankings, which is nice. Um, what do you do if you're happy and you know it? Clap your hand. Yep. Um, do you have AirPod, AirPods in, or are you holding your phone to your ear? I'm holding my phone. Okay. That's fine. I was going to ask her to clap No, I was, was going to get you to clap, but... Um, oh. Yeah. Did you just clap the phone, Hannah? Yep. <laughs> yeah, nice. She just yeah, slapped nice. your phone to your face. <laughs> um, hey, prisoners have gone on strike of canteen price inflation. Uh, what was your canteen order as a kid? A uh, sausage roll and a can of Coke. Oh, <laughs> oh that's healthy. Would have <laughs> thought you were going to Farmers Union nice coffee down in Adelaide. Oh, Oh, God, no. Oh, really? Oh, see no yourself. Way. That's what I had at school. It was a big hot dog. Anyway, uh, it is the Grand Prix in Melbourne this weekend. Can you name one Aussie driver who will be competing? Oscar Piastri. Nice. Yes. Yeah, you felt like you really pulled that one out of nowhere. Yeah, I would have thought you'd go Daniel, but there you go. No, That's no, right. He's the, you know, the young prince is taking the king's throne. <laughs> uh, it would have been Ziz's birthday this weekend, R.I.P. King. Um, yeah. How do you spell Ziz? Z-Y-Z. Yes. You've clearly watched some trance videos on um, oh, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You mind, bruh? Uh, okay, <laughs> last question here. Uh, the trailer for the new season of House of Dragon has dropped. Can you finish the Game of Thrones theme? Do, do, do. I have no idea. Um, I don't know if we can give you that. No, I don't know. It. No, I don't yes, think it was. was. I don't think it was. Oh, Hannah, I'm sorry, I'm Bill. Sorry. No, thank you, Hannah. I uh, appreciate you um, answering all the other questions. Uh, Maddie in Sydney, can you finish the Game of Thrones theme for us? <laughs> mm, I mean, if I'm going to be a stickler with Hannah, I've got to be a stickler with Maddie. I've so never I don't... watched in my life. Well, yeah, got you that know, sorry. do yourself a favour. It's a great show. Uh, Joel, Gold Coast, first of all, have you seen the show? Uh, Dragons? No. I oh, bet you've seen, you've seen Game of Thrones, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, see if you can finish it. <laughs> Let's try. And you are... oh. Doing a bit. <laughs> that, no, that's our show intro. Oh, my God. <laughs> 13, 24, 10, if you watch Game of Thrones and know this next bit. Ryan in Perth. See if you can finish it. I wouldn't have a clue. Yeah, it's close enough, Ryan. Yeah, I think whatever. we wrap her up there. I probably should have just given it to Hannah from Adelaide six callers ago. It would have saved us all a bit of a headache. Uh, but anyway, Ryan, good on you. You are in the draw for Nova's First Class and 50K. You also get to pick the next song we play. Uh, so would you like to hear a bit of Sher? Do you believe in life at love? Or, Ryan, would you like some Rihanna? I'm I'm going to go with sure. Why not? Yeah, why not? And a goodie. Yeah, it is. One of the greats. You ever heard the DMAs cover before, Ryan? Sorry? Yeah. Doesn't matter, mate. <laughs> no, it's on another radio station anyway. Give us a buzz if you hate follow someone. It's usually on TikTok or Insta, and I think it might be more of a girl thing, not to not to stereotype, but I have realised that I hate follow like three people. That every time they post, I get really excited, and then because <laughs> you what you like pick it apart. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, oh, she's posted. What's she posting about now? And it doesn't matter what they post about. I just go, yeah. look oh, look at her bikini. Oh, you're horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. I run lean. I don't. I don't think I hate follow anyone. I don't. Mm. I don't. If I've not got time for you, I don't think I'm. You're just a good person, Maybe. unlike me. But I. So I thought it was just a me thing, and then I went to dinner the other night with some of my girlfriends, and I asked them, and I said, um. Do you guys like follow anyone that when they post you just you hate 
Like you don't follow them because you like them as a person, but you would like to pick apart everything they do. And I'm like, yeah. And then everyone got up on their phones, the person that they follow, that they just love to some, hate. some good hate fuel there? there <laughs> yeah, there was. So it was like, remember this girl from school? And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, yes. I hate her. Yeah, yeah, well, now I follow her as well. Oh, um, great. No, maybe I'm a terrible person. 13, 24, 10. Do you hate follow anyone? I don't know. You're not alone. Uh, Katie in Adelaide, uh, you hate follow someone? I do, and I feel like it's really petty, but I've only called because I feel like people can relate, okay? Yeah, okay, well, I mean, yeah. Good. Bell, bell so, I used to work with this girl years ago, and I only worked with her for like six months, but I continue to hate follow her because she keeps posting photos of her really ugly baby. <laughs> is that bad to say? <laughs> That's pretty bad. That is but bad. you, you sort of bad. like find it funny when you're like, oh, here we go again. Yes, and she does it in, like, weird positions. Like, she'll, like, set the baby up in little weird, like, photo positions. And I'm oh. just like, I hate it, but I love to hate it. So yeah. Well, yeah. She, you're like, like me, Katie. You get excited yeah. when you see they post. You're like, oh, here we go. And it's, yeah. you're not, like, you're not being a troll and commenting and being like, ew, your baby's ugly. Like, you just... Oh, God. No, no, no. no. But you're not like, hurting when anyone. When you put your baby in, like, a leopard onesie and then put, like, leopard, like, toys around it, I'm going to laugh. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you bringing other people into the room? Like, you know, other uh, significant others or, like, housemates? Like, oh, it's just done it again. Come have a well, look at this thing, one. Well, that's if you bring other people in or if you DM it to someone and send it to someone, then it gets a little bit on the bullying yeah. side. And- well, I don't DM it. I wait until, like, I'm catching up with the girls who also oh, used to work yeah. with her because I want to see their like live reaction. So I like oh, you'll have like a couple in and I've got a couple in the bank ready to go and I'm like, no, look at this. And they're like, no, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie, thank you so much for your call. Ashley in Melbourne. Do you hate follow someone? Who is it? I do. I think a lot of girls can relate at the moment. Ariana Grande. Oh, yes, Ash. I love Ariana. I've loved Ariana for years, but recently, yeah, it's turned into hate following, hasn't it? It definitely has. She's one of the girls that you just kind of want to see, you know, be cancelled. I think, really, I'd just love to see her downfall, only given that she's not a girl's girl. So, <laughs> yeah. 100%, I want to see who um, who she wants to, you know, get with next. At the moment, it's SpongeBob, but I'm curious to see who the <laughs> Yeah. Like what are your thoughts on SpongeBob SquarePants? Square, SquarePants. Oh, God. Um, he fits the character well, but I love SpongeBob more. He does. He but Ash, she's rebounding. She's rebounding. She's going through a divorce. It's a whole... It's a hectic time for her turbulent time ash thank you so much keep these coming 13 24 10 who do you hate follow and if you feel a need you can hate follow us at ben liam and bell on instagram (laughs) we're fine with that ash good evening who do you hate follow hey guys um i hate follow elon musk oh yeah right yeah elon yeah 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 what I, i don't actually now that you say it i don't think i follow him what kind of stuff does he post it's very random, interesting things, and I guess look, not just um, like I guess follow, but like in general, he's just a bit chaotic, um, <laughs> and makes decisions like uh, on the whim that affect yeah. a lot of people very quickly yeah. and very materially. Doesn't he do? Didn't he do that? Like he was like, "I'm going to change it to X." What do you guys reckon? He's like, "If this gets a hundred likes, I'll do it." Like he yeah. does stuff like that, and then <laughs> and then he did it. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did do it. At least he follows through. Uh, Tony, what about you? You hate following someone. Um, well, I guess it's pro- not really for me. It's like on behalf of my best friend, but I uh, hate follow her first love slash ex boyfriend and oh. also his now fiance. Oh, oh right, you, like you gang. actually you actively follow them. They know that you're following them, or you just check their profiles every now and then. No, like I actively they're on private, so I <laughs> onto the team and I followed both of them. And, and I they know that you're them. doing that, they, then, Tony. They, they let you across the drawbridge. Like they, are, you know what I mean? Like you, you know, they must know that you're a Trojan horse. Like, did, were you, were you, were you sort of friends with them at all, or was it would have been still weird that you followed them both? No, I didn't know them. This was like a prior life to me. Um, but I think they probably know who I am. Totally. Like, yeah. I'm all over her feed. So. Yeah, of course. And so are you getting excited if, if it looks like they're doing poorly? Are you, you know, excited to, re- <laughs> you know, to sort of to sort of report back? You know, you go, oh, my God, look how ugly Chad is now. Look at he's done with his chin strap. Um, yeah, do you know I, what I, mean? I do give her those updates. I'm like, oh, he's got a haircut and he looks gross. Like, yeah. Then do, would you, obviously, it. if they, like, bought a new house or something, you just let that one slide? You probably wouldn't tell your friend about that one. <laughs> No, or I would say it's a new house, but it's not as nice as yours. Yeah, yeah it's smart. a new house, but it's nah. ugly. You sound like a good friend. Uh, yeah. Trudy, what about you in Melbourne? You also hey. hate following. 
I didn't realise it was a thing until Bill just said it. And I thought, oh, shit, I need the same thing. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm a hate caller. Yeah, so I've got this ex-work colleague that is like one that makes all these perfect gifts, whether it's Easter or Christmas and things like that. And we just rock up at work, work with about 15 other colleagues that work and make, give out like Easter stuff and Christmas stuff and all this yeah, random yeah. stuff. And I think, oh, my God. So every time she posts, I get curious thinking, all right, so what is it now? Yeah. So it could be like rough heart or, you know, yeah. just random things. I'm like, oh, my God, why do you have to like throw out that? It's so perfect. I don't know what it is, but I've just got this thing. I don't see this person anymore. I don't talk to this person, but yet I'm still curious about Yeah. yeah you're like, oh, does. good I'm on like, you. Oh, great. You've wrapped that well, haven't you, idiot? <laughs> I'm like, oh, but I, I haven't been with this work. Um, for like over six months, but yet I still am curious about, oh, what is she doing now? What yeah. Doing? What Something, I don't know what it taps into, Trudy, but it just taps um, into Trudy, I'm glad you, you felt like that connected with you because when um, Belle was talking at the start, I was like, what a psycho. And now, and, and now, to be honest, I've looked at all the phone lines. I've got to say it, not a single male caller. Yeah, no, I've, I've got to say it. I'm sorry. It was all the... Uh, no, I know, I you know. guys don't. I don't think guys hate follow. I mean, yeah. Like, well, unless you... No, you know what guys do? They thirst follow. Oh, we yeah. hate follow. Guys, thirst follow. Fellas, you just... if you thirst no, follow. we're not doing that. Share your tips. Give us a buzz. 13, no. 24, 10. Um, Belle, if the police come for me later on this evening, um, it was all just a big misunderstanding. Oh, no. I'd, li- I'd like you to just explain No, that. I don't to, want to be to involved. Them. No, you're involved. Don't now. tell me what you've done because otherwise I don't have plausible deniability. So I'm... No. i got to tell you. Oh, God. I'm a tucker. I like tucking my T-shirt into my pants. Oh, I know. You know that? Yeah. Mm. If you, I, but you've only started doing it like two years ago. Well, no, it's if I'm wearing a jumper. I don't like when the jumper sort of moves and your T-shirt gets all like moved around. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you, I've seen you started, you've started sometimes having sometimes your T-shirt tuck. tucked in. Yeah, sometimes I do that. Yeah, without the jumper. But um, to make it easier, I think a lot of people do this, um, I sort of, if I'm wearing pants, I like unzip my pants so I can get my T-shirt like right in there, like right in there. You know yes. what I mean? Otherwise, it's too yes. tight in your trousers. Yeah. This yeah. is just the thing. But I was just like, I was a victim of a timing issue oh, earlier no. today. At least that's what we're going with. That's what my defence is going with yourself. in court. Oh, no. So I'm in the lift coming up from the car park. Um, it's a bit, bit, bit chilly in there when I got out from the car, had the heater on. So um, putting my jumper on, naturally, I want to tuck the shirt in because I yeah. don't like how ruffles around. Um, words of the wise, don't do not do this manoeuvre in an elevator. My head's down, looking sort of down at my pants. Um, the lift door opens as I'm undoing my fly. There's a group of women standing there. <gasps> <laughs> Looks pretty sus. <laughs> Which floor, ladies? Hop in. Oh, my gosh. So... Just full on, full on show. Well, I look, I explained I was a tucker, but it's like it's sort of you know it's always you can't it's always explain awkward. that in like a twenty second. I'm a, I'm a, t- I'm a tucker <laughs> as the doors are closing, like it just doesn't. So wait, was that here? That was here. Oh yes. great, great promo for the show. And it they is. Went, oh, that's isn't that the guy that's on the big billboard out there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Good, no, he gets good. it out. He gets Listen it out of the, the lift. Show. <laughs> Bell, the world happiness rankings have dropped. Feeling happy? I feel like the state of the world at the moment. You know, maybe it's a different nah, rank. come on, you're happy. Oh, okay, I'm happy. You're happy. <laughs> As you should be. Australia are in the top ten. Uh, Finland, Denmark, Iceland, top three. Um, but we're pretty happy. Like, we're, we're right up there. Um, but here's the thing. We were 11th, but now we're 10th. So we've leapfrogged New Zealand. They're real sad. So we thought we'd check in with our friends across the Dutch. Uh, comedian Guy Williams joins us now. Guy, why are Kiwis so miserable? Guys, this is devastating news. I know you guys are coming at this from like a comedy angle, like ha ha, very funny. In New Zealand, we don't have a lot going on. We live to beat Australia and to fall behind on this stupid, arbitrary, seemingly meaningless survey is absolutely (laughs) devastating for our country and not only just that for our economy i reckon new zealand's in big trouble and honestly we're not taking this well after hearing how you're talking i mean i wouldn't be surprised if you plummet down to 20th in the world happiness ratings (laughs) the next time it comes out (laughs) 
I've actually been in Australia doing a comedy tour for the last few months, and I must say, you guys are rich as hell, and it's because you all your mining. Like, everywhere you go, you guys are just digging <laughs> mines, just stuff the environment. Who cares about climate change? Just mine away. And as a result, you're flushed with cash, and you're living to Vida Loca. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys have got those Lord of the Rings films. It's like 20 years ago now, so I suppose it's sort of <laughs> the economy's drying up a bit. Our economy is still based on Lord of the Rings, and turns out that was a... A huge mistake, as there was only three of them. We sort of um, beat New Zealand in a lot, like a lot of things, like population and like landscape and just you know general vibes. But um, <laughs> you cheat, you cheat at cricket. Don't forget that the sandpaper on the ball. I will never forget that. I will take that to my grave. Um, but like, what do you what do you think has changed in the last year that's seen us leapfrog you in the happiness ratings? Honestly, I think it is. It, it can be put down to um, we've got a new crazy government. I don't know if you've seen this recently, but our Deputy Prime Minister is being sued by the band Chumbawamba. Yes, oh, we did see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on in your politics, but I bet your Deputy Prime Minister is not being sued by a band from 25 years ago <laughs> over a song that no one can even remember. <laughs> that is true. That really would bring you down and you wouldn't get back up again. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was a low blow, Bell. That was a low blow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like we've gotten you on and then we've said, why are you so sad? And then thrown some shade at you. New Zealand is a joke country with not a lot going on. Like, this is what we're all about. Like, make fun of us because, yeah, we deserve it. We're a weird place and we're weird people and we... Yeah, we need to get a life, to be honest. (laughs) Well, Guy, um, you are touring your elaborately named show at the moment around Australia. The Glass House makes it easy to see all the cowards I'm throwing stones at. Um, So you've you've just done (laughs) Adelaide, uh, my hometown, then Melbourne, uh, which is where Belle's from, and then Sydney, Brizzy. Um, What did Adelaide make of the show? I genuinely enjoyed Adelaide because I'll be honest with you, like it gets a bad rap. Would you be on it? Would you? Would you? Oh, yeah. Would you agree with that? No. Look, I think the the reason why I like throwing so much shade on New Zealand is because I'm from Adelaide and e- the rest of Australia <laughs> throws shade at Adelaide me. Adelaide is know? the New it's Zealand like, of you know Australia. what I mean. It's like I'm bullying you at school because like my <laughs> family isn't nice to me at home. People don't like Adelaide because it had heaps of murders and stuff, right? Yeah, but that's I actually liked game. it because of the murders. It's 2024 and all the kids are into true crime podcasts and Adelaide just needs to um, rebrand as a place to investigate murders and stuff because I was in true crime podcast heaven. It was awesome. I loved it. That's true. Adelaide is like one big escape room, really, and just market it like that. <laughs> Hang on. A big escape room? Oh, I won't be having that. I will, so. With a glass of wine at the same time. It's nice. I like how we're just in this beatdown line now where, like, Belle from Melbourne's at the top and just, like, <laughs> smashing into me from Adelaide and we're just, like, therefore smashing into you from New Zealand. Well, look, Guy, uh, we, we do love you and it is a real crying shame um, that uh, you guys have slipped behind us in the World Happiness Index, which, of course, we all sit around the TV every year and, and, and watch. It's, a, it's, it's big here. Jeez, <laughs> um, we're running a bit late this evening, Belle, and I'd, really, I'd love to ask you, you know, what you've got on the weekend, all those sorts of pleasantries, but I, I, I fear we don't have enough time, so uh, why don't we do three words or less? And, I, and in fact, if you want to call through, um, 13, 24, 10, three words or less, what have you got on this weekend? Belle, you go first. Three words or less, mm-hmm. uh, gym, pole, wine. Fun. Good balance. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pretty standard week. All right. Okay. 13, 24, 10. Three words or less. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? You might be able to inspire people that don't have any plans. Liam, what are you doing? Go-karting. What? Paintball. Strippers. Regular weekend for Liam? It's not. It's, it's for an event. I don't want to elaborate more. Otherwise Is go-karting I'm using two words? I would say it's hyphen. Okay. It's obviously for, you know, a bus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yep. actually, no, I've said too much. We, we don't have enough time. Sean that's and Melbourne. Horrible, sorry, that's a horrible picture of Liam. If he did, that's what you think of <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's not my event. I didn't it's, do that at my bus. It's a bus for someone else, yeah? Sean in Melbourne. Three words or less. What are you doing on the weekend? Hey, team. Uh, Formula One, baby. Oh, yeah. Formula One. Oh, yep. Should yep. be fun. Nice. Uh, Hayley in Sydney. Three words or less. What are you doing? 800 word assignment. Oh. Ah, Brenda in Brizzy, what do you got on? Yell at TV. 
Obviously the footy. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, just regular, just watching the block. Just like really angry at the news. <laughs> What's the world come to? Uh, Marie in Sydney, three words or less. What do you got on this weekend? Eat, sleep and repeat. <laughs> oh, that's four. Sorry, you can never call Nova again and you'll be barred of all prizing. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.